All right, thanks, Matt. Well, parts of I-80 still shut down this afternoon after a Tesla semi caught fire near Emigrant Gap. News for us, Andrea Esparza joins us now from the live desk with a look at the effort to get traffic flowing again over the mountain. Andrea. Well, Joan and Shelby, we have some good news tonight. Westbound I-80 reopening just within the last hour, more than 13 hours after this Tesla semi caught fire near Nyack early this morning. Just eastbound, though, that remains closed at this time. Let's take a look at I-80 at Colfax. You can see here looking empty right now as the interstate remains closed for at least half a mile in both directions between Colfax and State Route. But as we just mentioned, westbound is now open. And again, trucks are beginning to move around that area, but trucks are being turned around when it comes to Applegate. Well, a CHP spokesperson says that eastbound I-80 is still closed because of toxic fumes from a truck fire caused by a lithium battery. That's what you're seeing here. Cal Fire and Tesla hazardous materials teams are on the scene. The crash happened around 316 AM near Emigrant Gap in Placer County. That's when a big rig went off the road and hit some trees. The driver of this truck did walk away and was eventually taken to a hospital and the truck was being operated by Tesla and the cause of the crash right now still under investigation. But police say they are also investigating if the driver fell asleep behind the wheel. We still don't know when eastbound lanes will reopen, but again, westbound traffic is moving. Well, Governor Joe Lombardo said that today on X that the Nevada Department of Transportation and Envy Energy are working closely with California partners to help mitigate these closures, which can cause severe backups. At the live desk, I'm Andrea Sparsa. Back to you, Shelby.